Hi, my name is Ivan Roman. Welcome to another episode of Supernormal, where our desire is to make the supernatural supernormal. If you're watching this and you're a spirit-filled believer, the Holy Spirit lives in you. You are supernatural. You have eyes to see in the Spirit. You have ears to hear what the Father is saying. You have a heart that is swayed by the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is your internal GPS system. And the supernatural for the life of a believer should be supernormal. These stories that we're sharing shouldn't be so far out since they're in Scripture. And the Bible says in Hebrews 13, 8, that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And He's the same in you. So today I want to dive into a new series on hearing the voice of God. If you would turn with me in your Bibles to Psalms 91, a very popular passage of Scripture. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will abide in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say to the Lord, my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust, for it is he who delivers you from the snare of the trapper and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his pinions and under his wings you may seek refuge. His faithfulness is a shield and a bulwark. Now, secret places have secret entrances. And I want to encourage every viewer to find a secret place with God. So let me break some things down very quickly. Number one, do you have time set aside every day to meet with the Lord? Now, we live in a generation where the number one excuse that I hear for people not spending time with Jesus or His Word is, I just don't have the time. The reality is that we've all been given the same amount of time, and we have time for the things that we value. But maybe you're watching and you do have an extremely busy job. Maybe you're watching and you're a mother and you have kids and you have no time off. So I want to encourage you, you don't always have to wake up super early in the morning. It could just be five, ten minutes earlier than normal or go to bed a little bit early and just set some time aside from God. Early on in my ministry, I had so many meetings that I started to burn out. Just burning out with tons of counseling sessions and meeting and appointments. And I decided to set out time from 9 to 11 o'clock every day to make an appointment with God. What I want to encourage you, whether it's 5 minutes, 15 minutes in the morning, the afternoon, the evening, is to set time to make an appointment with God. And that's not an appointment that you easily reschedule. So after finding time, the second thing is a place. Now, the secret place isn't just a geographical location. So often Christians tell me, you know, Ivan, I just, you know, I, I couldn't make the service on Wednesday night. I couldn't make the service Sunday morning. And it's, in, it's critical that we do gather. Do not forsake the assembly of the believers. But it's also critical that you find a secret place. Where is the place that you connect with Jesus? I know for me, I got to get away from the computer. I got to get away from my house. And I have to go somewhere in nature. And it's in those places of solitude that I find that I connect with the Lord the most. Now, some of you may not have the luxury of getting away once, twice a week for a hike. I want to encourage you to find a secret place in the Spirit. I close my eyes and there's a place that I meet with God. For me, I visualize sitting on the beach, looking at the ocean. I live in beautiful Oregon and I visualize that beautiful scenic, that place. And in that place, I encounter the Lord even if it's for five minutes of meditating upon Jesus and giving him my time, I begin to hear his voice. So my question to you is, are you making time to meet with God to hear his voice? Do you have a secret place where you can abide under the shadow of the Almighty? Thanks for watching. Tune in next week where I begin to teach on keys to hearing the voice of God. Find me on Facebook, Ivan Roman, or my website, www.ivanroman.org to stay tuned for new episodes of Supernormal. We put one out once a week and like my Facebook page to be notified of a new episode.